Bijbel en Beeks voor Sodom. Are there any good people left? The men looked in Sodom's direction. And the Lord said, Will I tell Abraham about what I will do? For Abraham will become a big and mighty nation, and everyone on earth will be blessed through him. I chose him that he would teach his descendants to live according to God. Then I will do as I promised him. Then God told Abraham about his plan. Sodom and Gomorrah are very sinful places. I will go down there to see if it's so or not. The two angels started to walk towards Sodom. And Abraham stayed with God and asked, Will the righteous people be destroyed with the wicked people? What if there are 50 righteous people? Will they also be destroyed? Or will Sodom be spared because of those 50 righteous people? Lord, you won't destroy the righteous with the wicked. Are the wicked and the righteous then the same? You would judge fairly. God then said, If there are fifty righteous people in Sodom, the place will be spared. Abraham then said, Look, I am only dust and ashes, but I dared to speak to God. What if there are five short to make fifty? Will everyone be destroyed if there are only 45 righteous people? God then said, I will not destroy the place if there are 45. Abraham then said, Maybe there are only 40. God then said, I won't do it if there are 40. Abraham then said, Lord, please don't get mad at me. Let me speak again. Maybe there are only 30. God then said, I won't do it if there are 30. Abraham then said, Look, I dare to speak to God again. What if there are only 20? God then said, I will not destroy the entire place if there are 20. I will spare everyone for that 20 righteous people. Abraham then said, Lord, please don't get mad at me. May I speak one more time? What if there are ten? God then said, I will not destroy the place if there are ten righteous people. When the Lord finished talking to Abraham, he went away. And Abraham went back to the place that he stayed.